President Abdel Fattah Hassisi visited Kafr Sheikh University on Tuesday, during which he inspected the facility and was briefed on projects and inventions by students in the fields of energy, technology, biotechnology and artificial intelligence. President Abdel Fattah Sisi visited Kafr Sheikh University on Tuesday, during which he had breakfast with university staff, students, and workers at the facility. Addressing the gathering, President Sisi stressed the significance of developing state universities parallel to establishing new universities. We had a state asserted that raising awareness of care and challenges is very crucial. President Sisi stressed the need to pick distinguished students of high skills at universities to be presented to the people. The President inspected the university and was briefed on projects and inventions by students in the fields of energy, technology, biotechnology and artificial intelligence. President Sisi also inspected the Artificial Intelligence College at the university and spoke with students over the importance of the speciality. During the sports facilities at the university, he affirmed that artificial intelligence is the future for Egypt and the whole world. Addressing the gathering, Minister of Higher Education, Khaled Abdel Ghaffar, said Kafr Sheikh University has 75,000 students. The minister noted that the facility had undergone big developments in the past few years, adding that new important departments had been included for study in the facility. He said an oncology hospital affiliated to the university is being established. The minister witnessed a celebration by students at the facility. President Abdel Fattah Sisi issued a decree naming Major General Ashraf Ibrahim Atwa Megahid as the new commander of the naval forces. President Sisi issued another decree appointing Lieutenant General Ahmed Khalid Hassan, the commander of the strategic leadership, to supervise military industries. The president bestowed him with a rank of deputy minister. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri met with Cypriot President Nikos Anastasidas in Nicosia on Tuesday. During the meeting, Shukri delivered a message from President Sisi to the Cypriot President over bilateral ties. Foreign Ministry spokesman Ahmad Hafiz said the top diplomat hailed bilateral ties and the role played by the Joint Higher Committee. He said visits by the two sides reflect keenness on expanding bilateral cooperation in all political and economic fields. Meanwhile, Shukri held talks with his Cypriot counterpart, Nicholas Christodilis, which were attended by the two countries' delegations and followed by a joint press conference. The two sides proed means to expand bilateral ties in various domains in addition to a number of regional issues of mutual concern.